Hey guy. How are you all doing today? I'm excited to welcome you back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you a fascinating integration that I think will make managing your media on WordPress much more convenient. Have you ever found it annoying to download files from a shared Nextcloud account and then upload them to your WP site? Well, with this WP Media Folder plugin integration, that problem is easily solved. By connecting your Nextcloud storage with your WordPress Media Folder, you can fully synchronize files with just one click. Plus, you can even organize and manage your files with folders from WordPress and from Nextcloud. But wait, there's more. You can also insert your media directly from your Nextcloud folder into your page's content, saving you a lot of time compared to the normal way of doing things. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up Nextcloud as your WordPress media library. Let's not waste any time and get straight to it. Alright, before we can start using the Nextcloud integration, we need to connect our Nextcloud account to our WordPress site. The first step is to go to the Settings section on WordPress, then click on WP Media Folder. From there, navigate to the Cloud tab, and you'll see the Nextcloud option. In the Nextcloud Connection settings, you'll encounter several fields that require your input. Your username and password serve as your Nextcloud account login credentials, simply provide them. Then, copy the URL from your Nextcloud address bar and paste it here. These steps are essential as they facilitate the connection between your WordPress site and your Nextcloud storage. The last field is for the root folder name. Enter a name of your choice for the synchronized folder, allowing you to access it and share files on WordPress. You can find further information about Nextcloud and connection instructions in the online documentation. Once you've completed filling in all the required information, as I have demonstrated here, click on Save Changes and proceed to the next step. Alright, so now that you've connected your Nextcloud account to your WordPress site, your media library is going to look a little different. In addition to the normal media folder on WordPress, you'll also see a new section called Nextcloud here. As you can see, I've already played with it and created some folders with media. This means that your WordPress media library now has access to your Nextcloud storage, which means you can directly manage, move, upload, and organize your files from within WordPress. A new root folder will be created on your Nextcloud storage and all media will always be synchronized with this WordPress media library part. For example, you can change the name or color of a folder, or even create a subfolder by right-clicking on a folder and selecting New Folder. Alternatively, you can just click on the button up here to create a new folder, and it will be created in the location you're currently in. Let's try moving the folder we just created to another folder. All you have to do is click and drag it to the destination you want. Simple, right? Now, let's try uploading a picture to this folder. It's as easy as uploading a file to the WordPress Media Library. Just click on the Upload button, choose your files, and upload them. And there you have it, your file is uploaded, and you can see it right here in your Nextcloud folder. Finally, using the right-click menu on a folder media, you can refresh the folder content. And using the right-click menu on a media, you can import a media from Nextcloud to your WordPress media. Let's try with a media, select a folder destination, and it's done. I see you in the next sequence where we'll see in detail how the Nextcloud synchronization works. Let's jump to the next sequence and use the Nextcloud media in your WordPress public content. One more awesome thing I want to show you about this WP Media Folder plugin is that when you connect your Nextcloud account to your WordPress site, you're not just accessing your Nextcloud storage files, but also managing and organizing them directly on WordPress. Let me give you an example. I just created a new folder and uploaded a file inside that folder on WordPress. Now, let's switch to my Nextcloud tab and navigate to my WP Media Folder, which will be named after the root folder name in the previous sequence. As you can see, the folder and the file I uploaded to WordPress before are also here. This means that your Nextcloud and WordPress are fully synchronized with each other. Now, if I upload a new media file to Nextcloud, like this, and then go back to my WordPress Media Library tab, you can see it's already here. This will save you a lot of time when you're working with both Nextcloud and the WordPress Media Library, as you can manage everything from one place.
Now that you know how to connect your next cloud storage as WordPress media library, you may be wondering if you can use media in your WordPress content, such as a page. The answer is yes. Let's go to my page, here it's built with Elementor, search for the image widget, drag it over here, and choose a media file from my next cloud storage that I added earlier. As you can see, it displays with no problems at all. So, media files from my next cloud can be used with all the Elementor widgets. And just to make sure that these images are from my next cloud, let's go to my front page, right click, and select inspect. This will bring up the console tab of the page. Choose this button to inspect the source of my image and click on it. And you can see that the HTML link is to my next cloud, so the integration is working perfectly. Let's take a look at the WP Media folder setting again. Here, you also have the option to change your media access settings. This feature enables you to limit the media access of other users on your WordPress website, which can be divided by user or user role. By activating this feature, other users will have their own personal media folder when they upload their media files to the WP Media Library. This ensures that the media files uploaded by other users will not mix with yours, making it easier for you to organize and manage your media files. This is quite advanced, but very useful when you have several editors on WordPress. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the pricing for this integration. In addition to the Nextcloud connection we just covered, the WordPress Media Folder plugin offers several other great features, such as Media Import Export, Media File Access Limitation, and other cloud connectors like Dropbox and OneDrive, among others. It's also compatible with popular third-party plugins like DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor, which I demonstrated earlier in this video. The plugin is available for $49, but if you want to use the Cloud Connectors add-on, like Nextcloud, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option which includes all the integrations I mentioned. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.